Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to add a filter in Spring Boot. But before that, let's run and see this project is working fine or not. Server started and it is running on 8081 port. Let's open the README file. See here are the sample URLs, so let's open the first one. See it is working. In the last video, we integrated Interceptor so here are the sum of logs from Book Interceptor. Now let's integrate Filter. First, let's create a new package and package name let's say Filter. Now like Book Interceptor let's create a class and class name let's say Book Filter. Class created. We need to annotate this class as a component. Now let's implement the filter interface. Let's override the doFilter method. See like book interceptor. Here also let's add the log. That's it. Server restarted. Let's check now this log is printing or not. Oops it is not showing any response. But here you can see filter log is coming, that means it is reaching till the filter but after that it is not calling anything, because we need to call the filter chain, do filter method and then need to pass request and response object, that's it. See it is working now. See here all the logs are showing now. Here you can note one point like the filter is calling before the interceptor. I hope till now everything is clear for you. Now let's print some of the request details like local port, server name, and protocol. Let's refresh now. See local port is 8081. Server name is localhost and protocol is HTTP is printing. See like servlet request there is one child class and that is HTTP servlet request. So let's create HTTP servlet request object. Here assign the request. Here this request we need to cast to HTTP servlet request. So like we print some details about the request, here let's add some request details about HTTP servlet request like method, request URL, servlet path. See it is printing method is get, request URI is rest slash books, servlet path is books. So as per the requirement you can add your condition or restriction on filter level. So these things I just demo you for the clarity. Now let's comment all the request related logs. Till now we have created only one filter. Let's create a copy of this filter and let's see which one is executing first. Here change the log message. Now let's refresh the URL. See here book filter is calling first and book filter 2 is calling the second. Now let's say I just want to change the order. So book filter 2 should execute first. Let's see how to achieve this. So there is an annotation for maintaining the order and annotation name also in order. But here we need to pass the sequence. So let's pass here 1. Server restarted. Let's refresh. See book filter 2 is calling first. So that's the way you can manage the execution order of filters. Here I want to show you one more scenario for filter, so for example instead of calling all filter every time so if I wanted to restrict, restrict like when specific URL call then only that particular filter should execute. So let's see how to achieve such kind of scenario. Here I am not going to create any new controller class, I am going to demo you this scenario using an actuator, so open POM XML file. Here we need to add actuator dependency, ok, now save this file, see it is building. It is restarted, but we need to stop and start again the server because whenever if we add any new dependency then the server needs to restart. Server started. See here you can see the base path for an actuator. Now let's open the actuator URL. See it is working, even there are some sub URLs also there so let's append the health also. See even this is also working. 
so now the scenario is like when I hit any actuator related URL then only that filter should call otherwise it should not call. Let's create a new class, and class name let's say actuator filter. Implement the filter interface. Override the doFilter method of filter interface. Now add logger related stuff. Server restarted. Let's hit the actuator URL. See it is working. But here it is not printing the log of actuator filter class. Because I here I forgot to add a component annotation at class level. Let's add. Let's try again. Oops now it is not working. See not even it is printing the book filter log, but here it is printing the actuator filter log. See it is not printing the book filter log, because now two filters are there without any order. So let's add the order for book filter class. Server restarted. See still not working. But now you can see the book filter log is printing. It is not working because we need to add filter chain related code also. See I am doing such kind of mistakes so you can't forget whatever things are required. Now let's add. Let's try again. See it is working. So now you can see here it is printing the log from all three filters when I am hitting the book URL. Now let's hit the actuator URL. See even for this also it is printing the log from all three filters. But like I said earlier actuator log should only print when we hit the actuator or actuator related URL otherwise it should not print. So to achieve this we need to create a configuration class. Let's create a class and class name let's say filter config. Now let's annotate this class's configuration. Now to configure the filter we need to create a method and that method should return the filter registration bean. So here for generic, we need to pass the filter class name. Let's give the method name let's say registration bean. Now we need to annotate this method as bean. Let's create the object of filter registration bean class. Here we need to set filter to the actuator filter. And one more thing we need to take care, so we need to add URL patterns also for registration bean. So let's do it using add URL patterns method. Now let's pass the actuator and for all the related URL let's append the star. And that's it. Server restarted. First, let's refresh the book URL. See here it is not printing the actuator filter log. Now let's refresh the actuator URL. See it is including the actuator URL also. I hope whatever we did is clear for you. Now let's review whatever the code we added. See here we configure only one filter. So like that, we can configure a number of filters. Only thing is we need to change the filter and URL patterns values. Now just quickly look the remaining code. I checked in the changes, I will show you from where you can find these. See here is the repository. See here are the changes. I hope this video is helpful for you. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.